Hello and welcome back to my channel Techie Blossom. Flutter team has recently announced many new and exciting things in the Flutter Forward event. I have shortlisted five most exciting ones that you as a developer will care about most. First is Flutter 3.7. Flutter 3.3.x to Flutter 3.7 is a major update because it contains many updates. First and foremost is the Material 3 enhancements. You get a plethora of Material 3 widgets. Main highlight of Material 3 was dynamic coloring, which is now easily possible with theme extensions. You can have content-based dynamic coloring in your UI. Last key announcement about Flutter 3.7 is Impeller. Initially, Skia was used as a graphics rendering engine, but now Flutter team is heavily investing on new graphics rendering engine Impeller due to some limitations. As this is a very big update, I will cover this as a separate takeaway later in this video. Coming to the second key takeaway, Dart 2.19 is the new version that is compatible with Flutter 3.7. Dart 3 Alpha release is available for preview. And with Dart 3, we can return more than one value from a function. These are called records. With patterns, it would be possible to destructure the coming values and assign them directly to field or variables. This is a feature that is available in Kotlin since day one. So gradually, Dart is also becoming more matured language now. And soon, you will be able to return from switch statements as well. With Dart 3 release, there will be sound null safety, which means that all the code written with Dart 3 will be null safe. We know that Dart is portable to create Android, iOS, macOS, Windows, Linux, web and embedded platforms. Soon, with newer versions of Dart, we can see this portability extending to WebAssembly, which will bring many performance benefits for web apps made with Flutter. Newer versions will also start supporting RISC-V platform. Coming to the third key takeaway. I have worked with Flutter web and my experience with it was not good so far. Maybe because it's still not mature, but soon this will change. Four key optimizations that are landing on Flutter for web are canvas kit reductions, font size reductions, deferred loading and improved concurrency. Flutter is one of the first in utilizing WebAssembly architecture. And next most eye-catchy stuff is element embedding. With this, we can embed Flutter UI in a div in a HTML page. And there will be fully interoperability between JavaScript and Flutter UI. So you will be able to send data from JavaScript to Flutter and Flutter to JavaScript. Even CSS can be applied to the divs holding Flutter UI and achieve endless results. And the last thing, pixel shaders. Yes, pixel shaders have come to web now. Coming to the fourth key takeaway, as I said, impeller. Impeller is a complete rewrite and will replace Skia. Why we need Impeller? Because Skia was limited to 2D, I guess. And that's why with Impeller, we can achieve 3D results. A Blender file can be opened as an asset in Flutter app. With Impeller, the shader compilation jank is eliminated. Here is the app with SVG images. On the left hand side is the app with Skia and right hand side is the app with Impeller. The jank in the second graph is not there at all. You can enable this in iOS apps from now by running flutter run enable impeller command. Without this jank, your animations will even be much more smoother now. And the last update for this, Firebase. Firebase has emerged as the best friend of flutter over some years. And as a result of this friendship, Firebase team is continuously adding widgets for flutter that make your life as a developer very easy. If you have done authentication with Firebase in past and wanted to create a UI for login with Google or any other provider like Apple, and after logging in, you have to show image of the user all by yourself. But now there is a cool widget for that. Sign in screen is a widget that will provide you a UI that has a register button, and sign in with Google button. All the authentication when you press on sign in with Google button is taken care by this widget itself. And with the help of user avatar widget, you can display logged in users image as well without any fuss. So these are the key takeaways that I felt are the highlights of Flutter Forward event. 
I will be trying some of them and sharing with you here. So subscribe my channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.